I'd love to tell you guys a little bit about myself. My name is Lauren, and I don't know if you can tell by the cleavage, but I'm going through a breakup. <laughs> you know what's really hard about going through a breakup? Is it's not until your ex is just about to lose you that they finally decide to be romantic. The day I broke up with my ex, he put 365 roses on my doorstep with a little note that said, a rose for every day I should have given you one and didn't. But it's like I didn't need you to give me a rose every day. I needed you to not give me chlamydia. <laughs> for anyone that's never had chlamydia, it's not that bad. You feel me. You know, I told that joke <laughs> a few weeks ago, and my ex heard about it, and he was like, I don't appreciate you telling people our business. You're giving me a bad name. Please. Your privacy is as sacred to me, Marco Paloma of 1106 North. <laughs> 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 okay? Besides, if I really wanted to fuck with you, I would tell everyone that Capaletti is your mother's maiden name at 5632 or the last four of your social. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not me. I'm better than that. Okay? No, it was actually really hard to know that he was cheating on me at the time. But looking back on it now, I can see that there were a few red flags. Like he never shared anything I tagged him on on social media, never held my hand in public, never stopped talking about his other girlfriend. Like ever since I got divorced, I've had like the hardest time with sex and commitment because I feel like having a boyfriend is just like having a husband without the uh, credit card in your name. <laughs> <laughs> and sex is terrifying because it leads to commitment. <laughs> you know, like most girls have a peace spot, I have a panic button. <laughs> but one thing about dating in your 30s is you become a lot less picky. I woke up on my 33rd birthday and I was just like, yeah, maybe I do want to meet Christian farmers in my area. <laughs> that would never really work for me, though, because I gravitate towards toxic relationships. A guy can show up with a 401k, healthy boundaries and the desire to respect me, and I'm just like, eh. I'd rather date a fuckboy and write 30 minutes of stand-up about it. <laughs> After my last breakup, this millionaire matchmaker hit me up on social media, slid into my DMs, and she was like, hi, I'm Natalie. I could tell by your stories that you're single. And I was like, ouch but continue. And she was like, let's talk for a minute. And we did. We talked for hours about my interests, my likes, my dislikes. And she's like, great. I can guarantee you eight matches over the next three months for just $20,000. And I was like, oh, you think I'm the millionaire? <laughs> well, Natalie, if I had $20,000 to just give you, I wouldn't need the millionaire. And I don't want to brag, but I've also been divorced. And I promised myself when I got divorced that I would never be financially dependent on a man again. And that's why now I am a businesswoman, I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm on OnlyFans. I had to tell my mom that I was on OnlyFans. She was surprisingly pretty cool about it. She warned me though, she was just like, Lauren, just don't lose your morals. And I was like, what are morals? <laughs> anyway, I've learned a lot about men. I've learned that they're all the same and they all want the same thing. They all wanna feel special, they all wanna see you naked, and they all want a discount. So I'm from Texas, and when you drive from there to here, you pass this restaurant called the Roadkill Grill. And basically, if you hit something with your car, you see like a dead armadillo, and you take it in, they'll cook it for you. Last time I drove by, 
there was a big sign and it said, daily special, fish. <laughs> I don't know, maybe someone hit a woman. So did you guys know that vegans don't even eat honey? <laughs> they don't want to take it from a bee because bees are friends. Well, you're a fucking pussy. Name one bee you're friends with. Thank you guys so much. Hi, everyone.